buying gold bars? What I discovered. All bars are not what you think. Gold definitely isn't gold, especially when it comes to buying and selling. Hi and welcome to Cash and Coins. I hope you are doing well. Today I want to discuss the issue of buying and selling gold bars. This is a two-part series. The next one will focus on silver bars. I know that we often focus on coins. They are more protected because they are government issued and counterfeiting laws have harsh penalties, but bars are a different animal. They are gold just as the coin, but don't have the same protection. Should you even buy them? Is there an advantage that you might be missing? Today I'm comparing gold bars at JM Bullion. And no, this video is not sponsored. Okay, let's get into it. Hello and thank you for joining me here at Cash and Coins. As I stated earlier, I want to discuss gold bars. My next video, I will discuss silver bars. So you might want to uh, look out for that one. Many of us buy gold coins because of the laws that protect coins. Look at these two statements I found on the internet. Manufacturing uh, counterfeit United States currency, right? Look at that, a fine of up to $5,000 or 15 years in imprisonment or both. And this next statement says you can be in prison for up to 20 years. So yeah, it looks like you can spend a lot of time behind bars for such a big offense of counterfeiting coins. So buying gold and silver coins, we do feel a little safer. Now, if you've been stacking for any amount of time, you know that coins are counterfeited all the time. Look at the Kruger Rand, which I'm told is one of the most counterfeited gold uh, coins by far. Look at this article from last year about Kruger Rands being confiscated by the U.S. Border Patrol. Now do remember, not just the South African coins, but U.S. coins, British coins, well probably most coins from countries that produce them are counterfeited. So I'm saying don't have the warm and fuzzy feeling about gold coins. As you know, those that want to counterfeit will counterfeit. That brings me to gold bars. So you might think, ah, yes, gold bars. Only buy the popular stuff. And you know what? You might be right. So let's dive in and take a deeper look. Today I'm specifically looking at what I found at JM Bullion. And of course you could look around at other sites uh, to see if it's uh, comparable. I didn't want to make this too complicated and that's why I only stuck with one online dealer. Now let's look at the numbers. And to be honest, I was surprised. I have to say that gold isn't gold when it comes to buying and selling. First, let's start with this. Look at this one ounce Velcambi gold bar and it's on sale. The price for any quantity, right? is $2,054.15. Spot, when I made this video, was $19.79 of $49. And that's um, $74.99 over spot, let's say $75. Bucks. Now we have the one ounce Pamp Swiss Fortuna new with SA Gold Bar. Now this is a very popular bar. Look at the price, $2,080.48. That's $101.41 over spot. Yeah, it's about $25, $26 jump. Now, let's look at a government minted bar. Now, these are not protected like coins. This is one ounce of the Royal Canadian Mint with SA Gold Bar. The price, $2,083.95. And it's $100 four dollars and 46 cents over spot about a hundred and five dollars but these numbers only tell half the story let's say you were to sell them right back today what would be what would have been the best buy 
Well, we'll start off with that Valcombi. The buyback, as you see, is $1,980.16. If you remember, the original buy price was $2,054.15. So you would have had a loss of about $74. Let's go to the PAMP bar. Now that gold bar, the buyback price is $1,084.49. The original price was $2,080.48. A loss of $95.99, about $96. Now let's go to the Royal Canadian Mint Bar. The buyback on that is $1,084.49. The original price is $2,083.95. A loss of about $100, $99.46. So you see, the best buy is the cheapest bar, not the government bar and not the most recognized bar. I was actually surprised by this. So here are the results again so you can see them. Please let me know in the comments what did you expect? Are there other ways that you find the best prices? I do want to thank you for watching Cash and Coins. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like. If you're not subscribed, uh, please hit the subscribe. Uh, don't forget to share and comment. And as I always say, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next video.